Factor, oh yeah, baby, so we were talking about this earlier. Back line, another Velkaz two I in a row like for it. Jensen. I like it. I, I had the opportunity to talk a little bit about this pick with Jensen. No vision at all. Here comes the retreat. Fabi's got to get away from this one. Spell Shield does not come down into the flash combo. Fabi's just going to get blasted. There's first blood. Nicely played by C9. Outplaying the Spell Shield. Try to make the dive happen. They're expecting it. Dardock's still waiting. He's going to come in. All right. Lola taking plenty of damage. Oh, he doesn't get to ulti out. He didn't have it. So that's the kill picked up. Well play on this one. Just impact for an arrow. On to Phoenix. And Phoenix has no cleanse. Ooh, he's he tagged. Maybe dead. Layering the CC. Crescendo to stop it out. But it's going to be the cleanse into the chase of the auto attack. And Jensen gives him a tentacle to knock him down. 3-0. Three, Three chase maybe into the mid lane. It's going to be a wave clear. They're going to be all right with this one. The power of the Velka. So much damage to Inko and Dardock. Engage 5 v 4 Sneaky nearly goes down. It's the re-engage as Dardock gets knocked around. Lola chases in. Once the backline is going to pick off Sneaky as a quick snack. And now it's the re retreat from C9 as they have lost their AD carry. Mid laners need to take note. You need cleanse against Ash. Uh, but there's a fight going down in the top lane. And it's again Lolo forced to use his ulti as impact is crushing the one on one. Look at that. Smashes him. A 3 0. Not reasonably close. You'll probably win it instead because of item advantages. But it doesn't do anything for outpushing your opponent. It doesn't do anything for magic. Goes Dardock. Dardock, to Dardock wants to steal. He tries. 700 health. Smite goes through. Nicely done by Meteos. Dardock smite a little bit too early. Couldn't make it happen. So C9 now. Mountain Drake plus you C9 pushing the pressure in. Impact now coming over. on the wrong side of the He's got play. teammates coming. Impact lower and lower. A nice stun into combo into the kill of Phoenix. And there comes the Destructo laser, and it's bad for Liquid. They've got to run away from this one as well. Impact still on the chase. Looks for Matt. A couple more attacks will do it. Can't quite get the kill, but it's a one for zero all the same in favor of C9. Plus a lot of the turret damage. And Belkos really... C9 has kind of over index on that front line in order to keep himself safe. Look for Cassiopeia, Got lands it on him, and Phoenix is going to fall. Crumble before our very eyes. Another pickoff. Nice. Jensen pushing down mid. Okay, so it's the split push game. It's C9 finding it that way. It's Phoenix knocked up. It's him taken out. The flashy dodged arrow, but could not dodge the rest of the damage. Another two man kill for C9, getting more and more in. A movement speed buff on the E. And they get chased down here. And there is the laser over the wall. Matt dangerously down. And that's going to be a kill for impact. The knockup going to find Lorlo, but he's tanky enough to get away. Long form with the two for zero with the earlier pick. Risky for me uh, at this point in the game, I feel like. That's only was one of the ways the only ways he could lose, but Lolo gets the caught. face check. The layered CC had no chance to chrono break or flash. It. Speed with a great setup and the rest of his team with good follow-up to boot. And nip, here we go. Baron Nash taking some damage. Top laner dead for 30 seconds, but the rest of Liquid are around. Matt is coming from the base. 5,000 health. Dardock gets a three-man stun, but there's no damage to follow up. Finally, in comes Phoenix, but nope, he's already dead. Dardock has dropped off the face of the map, and Phoenix getting caught as well. A great knockup. Can't kill off impact just yet. A double kill. In for Jensen, and now back they go to the Baron. Just kidding, they're going to the arrow. So no engage, going to land for Sneaky. Now Liquid wants back in. Will they find anything, though? So many Banshee spells on the team. Means not a lot of stuns. And actually, Dardock dies without even getting the ult or anything at all. Chrono Break comes in, but means almost nothing. Lolo just does not do any damage for it to matter. And C9 takes down one of the tanks. The Flash chase oh, is going to come out. They get some CC. Phoenix is going to die once again. A legendary Velkos in the mid lane. 9 0 and 3 for the. Ouch. Yeah, and I mean, like. Already, if you look at Cassie P, you turn to stone, but it's so ugly, you actually <laughs> might just claw your eyes out. This is just brutal right now. 13, 15,000, a bit of something. Here he goes. Ooh, Smite is in. A bit of a slowdown on the Meteos. There's the two-man stun as well, but it's on the tank. C9 are well positioned. Arrow's going to land. Crescendo meant nothing, though, and here comes the damage up, but Dardock's gone already. Stun doesn't mean anything. Another kill picked up. It's just playing it way too intelligently. They're not giving him a chance to get back to their camp. All right, they're going to hope for it right here. Ash Arrow comes in, and it still tags Phoenix. There's the knockup. There's the combo. There's the kill. Impact himself. Unstoppable. Another one comes in for Sneaky as well, finally getting himself his second kill of the game. And now here comes this final push in on to the third and final inhibitor turret, the inhibitor itself. It's all over but 30. the cry and freak. This one is going to be in the book. C9 looking to take game one here over Team Liquid. And Liquid hoping to forget it ever happened. Cloud9 one kill short of a perfect game to start their series against Liquid. The next one's going to get smashed. If they don't dive the fountain, they're going to get them all. And there we go. 18 to 1. A beautiful game one for C9. Really not much else to say besides that. Uh, C9 played this one to perfection, looks so good the whole time. Mm -hmm.
the only blemish was that one sneaky death uh, in the mid game and you know by that that tier one turret but still c9 looked fantastic uh the the top lane matchup got severely tilted in the favor of impact and yeah tl honestly I, their comp i think has how long is quite good you talk about trying to bring cleanse in the mid lane well now you're against a targeted stun and does leblanc really even want to do that when she wants ignite or teleport for sure no i certainly don't think that on, on leblanc oh. he's low this is this is bad there's no turret there for him they could maybe run him down here he has flash how good's the hop gonna be gets off to the side actually bounces off of dardock and now flashes to run but be careful because he's still got the chase and yeah, it's gonna be the kill picked up. First blood goes through nicely, ganked by Dardock. Impact did not have the wards he needed to be safe. And that's nice steal away from Dardock. In comes Phoenix. Here comes the play, the fear on a smoothie. Curtain call, hit one, hit two, hit three. The ulti guarantees it. And they picked one off, sneaky low as well. The flash away from Phoenix. Here comes the teleport timings. And Dardock is a couple hits away from being a casualty as Impact is gonna knock back Lola. But careful, you gave it Aurelia right in the face of an Ash. Nice root comes in. Matt has a flash away from Body Slam. Didn't see that coming in. LeBlanc is roaming down. Or either AD carry here. Once again, looking for the trade. A great root and ulti. This could be the death of Jensen. Turret shot's gonna go in and bit off more than he could chew. Gets in a turret range. Huge mistake. But it does mean a Drake. The advantages for TL are much more about the mid laner, but Sneaky may get chased down here. Zardok pops Ghost, has a red buff. Sneaky's life is bad, and he's just gonna try to run and run and get feared and die. And now Jensen. Why even bother teleporting? Like, they should just know he's dead. Of course. Fate worse than death, being a feeder in League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes both happen. Stardock's coming in. The flash engaged. They found Sneaky. Bromulty stops Stardock, and now Ashen as well, but he does not have aggro, so he just ults right back out. The Onslaught of Shadows, and uh-oh, Impact in a 1v2, turned back around on by Lorlo, and the chase is in. Another huge mistake now by Impact. The re-engage, though they catch off Matt on the side, Good pick up there, thanks to Jensen and Medios. They're no longer risky. He's going for the I'm gonna carry choice and yep. see what he gets out of it. There are obviously different approaches to it and, and different ways oh to my gosh, but Sneaky is the caught. damage. Sneaky is already dead. Looks like the item choice working out just fine for Dardock. Eviscerating C9's poor AD carry. Zero, two, and one, and they are now finally in the eye. Ooh, they actually pulled in Phoenix, but he's gonna be okay. Puts it on the stun to Medios. One more shot, I'll do it. Down he goes, seven to one. Medios should not have been there. And another one picked up for Liquid. Yeah, Medios wanted the out for Phoenix, which is a little strange to me, but that's going to be an arrow on a Fabi to flash there right away oh. on top of him. Look at the just Where did he go? Freak, there was a gin there a second Jensen ago. Jensen makes his life bar disappear. C9 has done a great job manipulating these mini waves. Lorlo may get caught out here. Jensen's going for the root, and he's going to get it. Lorlo's flash was light. He's gone. What the heck, Cloud9? Looking great in a game they were losing for only a few minutes. Not Medios for anyone steal it away. That's fine. Liquid though, not willing to say die and good for them to go for the aggressive play once more. Ooh, Jensen. A nice Be tackle. Careful. Jensen's running out of health and gonna, gonna get the snipe. Sneaky blocks some. Smoothie gonna block some more. Phoenix really wants it. Gets exhausted though. Doesn't do quite enough damage. Smoothie safe for now. In the back line they go. It's gonna be a trade of kills. AD carry for mid laner. Garnock to hold in the front line, but running out of health pretty rapidly. He's got to kite back on this one. Impact actually helps him out. is there. They can run down. Trying the chase, but be careful. He can't become Mega Nar, so the root's going to be there. The chase is in, and Lorlo is a big part of that damage. Liquid come out ahead to the again, and maybe this is the engage they want. Phoenix goes in, flash root, finds Sneaky. He gets pushed out. Garnock's in, misses the fear though, but he's going to have the damage in order to pick him off. There is a one for one as Lorlo has also been popped out. Smoothie low on health, doesn't quite get the snipe from Fabi. Jensen wants in, doesn't get the chain on his need, so with a flash engage comes around by Medios. The dive again by Smoothie picks that one up, and now Jensen in a world of hurt, so is Medios. That should be several kills for Liquid, maybe, as Jensen kites out. Impact helps, and they get the shutdown, actually. Medios, the fancy feet, loses the Guardian Angel. Impact does not have Meganar available, though, throws in a house. Two for two so far, it's a 3v3 on this fight. Once again, the CC, and they get the pickup nicely done. Phoenix goes down. And Fabi is out of mana, he's out of health as well, the double all down. kill. Still looking C9, for the ace. beautifully done on the back half of the fight. It started two for two, it's gonna be five for two. The chase is there, a triple kill for Jensen. What a team fight. And they don't have a lot of damage here just yet, but now the cavalry arrives, they can try to rush it. Well, Zardak can run as far as he can, but it's not gonna be enough. The spike comes through, and that is the Baron picked up for Cloud9 as a result of a very well-played fight. From one snipe gets away from two. Smoothie ju uh, jukes the third, I should say. 
Jada gets rooted up. The re-engage for Phoenix into an arrow, into the root, into the damage output. And they're going to just kill him off, not even getting to cast a single spell on that one. And the TP is in. They, they've overextended hugely, and this could be the game if they kill them all. It's already 5v3. Jensen gets away from Lorla. The flash not going to mean anything. It's just a slaughter now as Cloud9 kicking and screaming and killing everybody. Impact flashes. He's got Fabi in his sights. Hello. Goodbye. Will, will Cloud9 risk it and try to go for the end? There's some long res timers here on both Phoenix and Lorlo, and Fabi's about to fall. They're already on the inhibitor. They have the, the minions coming in here pretty soon. Will they try to make the play? Well, Baron has timed out, but they've got 20 seconds. Nexus to turret, and Dardoch may have actually just saved the game. He might have. They live to fight another day. Goes to kill out Smoothie. Can't look at the damage. That's the shutdown picked off. And Matt, why are you even here? He walks in to get himself killed. A silly mistake. Two TP more coming picks in from Lorlo. They want the fight. They want the fight, but can they get it? Phoenix self bolts. Guess what? Not enough damage. Lorlo wants smoothie. Goes for it. Gets the attack and gets it. But it's another kill in for impact. Look at this. It's only Lorlo alive against Fabi three because they kept just walking in one by one. Now it's a two versus three. They're trying to defend under the Nexus turret. Sneaky flash the way. Lorlo getting CC'd and he's gonna go down. Another kill picked up. Now the chase in and it's just the Nexus alive. Fabi cannot stop this curtain call. Not gonna mean anything. Meteos walks in, says, don't you dare. I'm a fat man and knocks it down. A 2-0, 36 minute game for Cloud9. The star looked a little bit rocky for Cloud9 as they were giving up kills, but they always were making the better macro plays, taking the minions, getting ahead in farm, taking the objectives, and eventually getting the game on the back of an incredible LeBlanc performance here. A blind pick from Jensen, which came up huge. It really did. Highest damage in the game. His teammate, the Ash, less than 100 behind him, but still, for how scary Liquid's comp looked, Right, a lot of very scary divers, snorkel and all, the oxygen tanks were in, they were going deep plenty often. C9 able to withstand all of that and and despite losing kills so constantly, still playing.